the Green Bay Packers afford another season plagued by inconsistent kicking? After cycling through Mason Crosby, Anders Carlson, and now Braden Narvison, the team's kicking woes persist, costing them valuable points. In Sunday's narrow 31-29 loss to the Minnesota Vikings, Narvison missed two critical field goals, further highlighting a recurring issue for the Packers. Despite strong leg talent, Narvison's inconsistency continues to hurt the team. Will head coach Matt LaFleur and general manager Brian Gutekunst stick with the young kicker? Or is it time for another change? Join me as we dive into the Packers' persistent kicking dilemma, analyzing the key moments, statistics, and what lies ahead for this storied franchise. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Packers news and analysis. The Green Bay Packers, a team with a rich history and passionate fan base, have been plagued by one problem for several seasons, place-kicking inconsistency. Mason Crosby, once a stalwart for the franchise, had begun losing leg strength toward the end of his career. His replacement, Anders Carlson, brought youthful energy but faltered in critical moments. Now the Packers have turned to Braden Narvison, but the issues remain the same. On Sunday, the Packers faced the Minnesota Vikings in a crucial divisional game. The final score was close, 31-29, but two missed field goals from Narvison loomed large. Those misses not only took six points off the board, but also altered the flow of the game, contributing to a 28-0 deficit. It raises the question, can the Packers continue to gamble on an inconsistent kicker in such a competitive league? As we delve into the events of the game, we'll explore whether the Packers can afford to be patient with their rookie kicker. With playoffs and division titles often coming down to a few points, reliable kicking is a necessity in today's NFL. Will Narvison bounce back, or are the Packers repeating history with costly errors? Mason Crosby wasn't just a name, he was synonymous with consistency for the Green Bay Packers. From game-winning kicks in freezing conditions to playoff heroics, Crosby was the man the Packers turned to when the game was on the line. However, as age caught up with him, his leg strength faded, and the team needed to look for a younger replacement. Enter Anders Carlson. Carlson, with his strong leg, seemed like the future. Yet, as the 2023 season progressed, cracks began to show. Carlson's inability to deliver in critical moments, especially in close games, mirrored the frustration fans once thought would end with Crosby's departure. The Packers were once again at a crossroads, and a solution was needed. But the Packers didn't just stop at Carlson. This year, they turned to Braden Narvison, hoping he could stabilize the position. But Narvison's rocky start is raising concerns. His struggles aren't just technical, they're becoming psychological. With every miss, confidence from the fans and coaching staff takes another hit. Sunday's game against the Vikings was a painful reminder of the importance of every point in the NFL. Narvison's two missed field goals, a 37-yarder off the upright and a 49-yarder wide, might have been forgiven in a blowout loss. But this game was far from that. The Packers lost by only two points, and Narvison's misses directly impacted the final outcome. The first miss came early in the game, when the Packers had a chance to score on their opening drive. A 37-yard field goal should be routine for an NFL kicker, but Narvison's miss set the tone for what would become a long day. His second miss, a 49-yarder, came as the Packers tried to claw back from a 21-point deficit. Instead of narrowing the gap, it only deepened the hole. These misses don't just take points off the board, they change the momentum of the game. Head coach Matt LaFleur's decision to go for it on 4th and 10 later in the game was likely influenced by a lack of confidence in the kicking game. Nine points lost, two points short. The math is undeniable. Narvison's struggles this season aren't confined to just one game. Through four weeks, he has already missed four field goals, three of which came between 40 and 49 yards. The NFL average for kicks in that range is roughly 81%. Yet Narvison is hitting only 50%. Even more troubling, he's the only kicker in the league to miss a field goal under 40 yards. In week one, his 43-yard miss may have been the difference in a five-point loss. In week two, his 45-yard miss kept the Packers from extending a lead and led to a tense endgame situation. Week three saw another miss, though it was wiped away by a penalty. The trend is clear. 
Narvison is struggling when it matters most. NFL kickers are often under immense pressure, but in today's game, they are expected to deliver. Narvison's 69.1% field goal percentage is far below the league standard. And while he remains perfect on extra points, those misses in critical field goal situations are piling up. It's becoming harder for the Packers to justify sticking with him. Packers fans don't have to look far back to remember another kicker who struggled when it mattered most. Anders Carlson, the previous man in Narvison's position, had his own issues in late-game situations during the 2023 season. His inconsistency contributed to the Packers' early playoff exit as he missed a key 43-yard field goal in a four-point loss to the 49ers. Carlson's final season with the Packers was a roller coaster. After a strong start, he crumbled down the stretch. His six misses over the course of the regular season ultimately led the Packers to search for another option, but their efforts seem to be leading them down a similar path. It's this haunting sense of deja vu that is making the current situation with Narvison even more alarming. The Packers have invested time and resources into developing young kickers, but the returns have not been promising. Can they afford to go through another season defined by special teams failures? Despite the frustrations, head coach Matt LaFleur has been vocal about his confidence in Narvison. After Sunday's loss, LaFleur reiterated that the young kicker was impressing in practice and he expressed a desire to be patient with him. But how much patience can the Packers afford? NFL coaches are often tasked with walking a fine line between showing trust in their players and making tough decisions. LaFleur's decision to stick with Narvison may be born out of the belief that the rookie can turn things around. But with the team already losing close games due to missed kicks, that faith could start to waver. If the Packers continue to lose close games, the pressure will mount not just on Narvison, but on LaFleur's decision-making. Fans are already asking, is it time to bring in a veteran kicker, or will the team stay the course? Rich Basacha, the Packers' special teams coordinator, has played a key role in the development of young kickers. He's known for his meticulous attention to detail and his ability to get the best out of specialists. Basacha has been vocal about Narvison's potential, praising his leg strength and mental toughness. However, coaching potential doesn't always translate to game day success. Basacha's job is to ensure that Narvison can bring his practice form into high-pressure situations on Sundays. Thus far, that transition hasn't been smooth. The Packers' special teams have improved in many areas under Basacha, but kicking remains a glaring issue. Basacha's reputation is on the line just as much as Narvison's. If the rookie can't improve his consistency, questions will arise about the coaching staff's ability to prepare him for game day situations. For any NFL kicker, the mental aspect of the game is just as important as the physical. Kicking is an isolated position where one mistake can change the course of a game. For a young kicker like Narvison, the weight of missed opportunities can quickly become a burden. Narvison's missed field goals in critical moments have undoubtedly taken a toll on his confidence. Every time he lines up for a kick, the pressure intensifies. And as the missed kicks pile up, so does the scrutiny. The mental game is relentless, and it's unclear whether Narvison has the fortitude to push through. The Packers coaching staff has expressed faith in Narvison's ability to bounce back, but confidence is fragile. For Narvison, it's not just about the mechanics. It's about getting out of his own head and performing when the pressure is highest. Kicking in the NFL has reached new levels of precision. This season, kickers are converting 75% of attempts from over 50 yards. Many teams have kickers who are near automatic from within 40 to 49 yards, an area where Narvison has struggled mightily. In fact, Narvison's overall field goal percentage is lower than the league average for kicks beyond 50 yards. This high level of competition only adds to the pressure on Narvison. While other teams are thriving with reliable kickers who consistently add points, the Packers find themselves stuck in a rut. It's a stark reminder that in today's NFL, having a dependable kicker is no longer a luxury. It's a necessity. The Packers aren't just falling behind in terms of offensive firepower or defensive strength. They're losing ground in an area where the margins are razor thin.
As other teams enjoy the benefits of elite kicking, the Packers are left wondering what could have been had Narvison converted more of his opportunities. Looking ahead, the Packers face a critical decision. Do they continue to place their trust in Narvison, hoping that he can overcome his early season struggles, or do they start exploring other options? The free agent kicker market isn't exactly robust, but there are veterans who could step in and provide more consistency. Matt LaFleur and general manager Brian Gutekunst are likely weighing their options. On one hand, sticking with Narvison allows for potential long-term stability if he can find his form. On the other, the Packers are in the middle of a tight NFC North race, and they can't afford to lose games due to missed kicks. The decision is further complicated by the emotional investment the team has already made in developing Narvison. Moving on from a rookie kicker this early in the season could damage his career, but the Packers must prioritize winning. The Green Bay Packers are once again facing a crossroads with their kicking situation. Braden Narvison's potential is evident, but potential doesn't win games. Execution does. With the Packers dropping close contests and the NFC North race heating up, the margin for error is shrinking. As fans, we can only hope that Narvison finds his stride and becomes the kicker the Packers need. But how long can we afford to wait? With games decided by just a few points, every kick counts, and the Packers can't continue to leave points on the field. What do you think, Packers fans?